Keep it simple phone tech here. We're going to take a look at iOS 13 and its beta form. Specifically, we're going to look at iPad OS 13. We're going to start with dark mode. So dark mode finally officially makes it to iOS. And so you're going to see, you know, if that's something that you, it helps you at nighttime, you can switch over into dark mode. You can do so on your own, or you can set the iPad or iPhone to make that change automatically. You'll see that here in just a moment. As you can see, dark mode, you have the theme carrying through the iOS apps. So when you get into the non-iOS apps like the Google apps, it looks the same. So there's no difference. I don't know if that's going to change once the official version of iOS 13 comes out. But for now, that's what you have. So again, you can go ahead and make the changes to where it automatically shifts into dark mode for you. You can set it to where at sunset it'll switch over to dark mode and then at sunrise it'll come back to the light mode, if you will. Or you can customize that as well, or you can just go ahead and manually select it whenever it is that you like. So dark mode, finally make it to iOS. Next, we're gonna take a look at this. Finally, you're able to do this when you go into the control center and you turn on or turn off either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You can finally, with a press and hold, make a selection so you don't have to go into the settings now to find this and make your selection if you want to change wi-fi if you want to change bluetooth you can do so from the control center so that's awesome that they finally get this on the ios 13 they finally get it on the ios makes it a little bit easier to make the transitions from wi-fi and bluetooth and if you notice me saying finally a lot, it's because some of these features have been on Android for quite some time. So it's nice to see Apple finally getting on board with that. There I go with finally again. Next, widgets. Now take a look at this. Widgets used to be its own separate screen, but now you can put widgets on the home screen. It's particularly once you get your tablet into landscape mode. Get in the landscape mode, you can keep the widgets on the screen at all times. As you can see here, that you can take it off the screen as well if you don't want to. And now the time moves to the upper left corner. So you can have both your icons and your widgets at the same time. And I think that's kind of neat to have your widgets there so you don't have to find a separate screen. You can have what you want. Quick access to it on the same screen as your icons. Here you can make selections for your widgets. You can change out the widgets according to what they have available on the edit screen and then once you're done you hit done it'll take you back to the home screen next we're going to take a look at and you've probably noticed that the icons are a little bit smaller now i am going to presume that the reason that the icons are smaller is to accommodate the widgets being on the home screen but they are smaller all the way around it looks like that means that you can get more icons on each of your screens and beyond that they're just smaller icons now there is going to be something additional. There's a separate video where I'll be talking about the icons a little bit more. But in the meantime, we're just showing you that there's smaller icons right now. And you still don't really have the flexibility to move the icons exactly where you want to. I mean, unlike Android where you can put them just about anywhere that you want to. With iPad, of course, once you move one, everything shifts. But that's fine. At least they're smaller. The last thing we'll cover in this video is the keyboard. So you can now shrink the keyboard and make it iPhone size. And not only that, once you do shrink it, you can now swipe to type. So that is cool. And then once you are done, you can easily resize it by just kind of reversing that pinching motion and it'll get you back to full size. You cannot swipe when it's in full size like that but at least you can resize it whereas in the past you can split the keyboard and make it smaller now you can make the entire keyboard smaller and again you can swipe on it with the iphone you'll be able to have that swipe function on your keyboard so there won't be any resizing of it but you'll at least be able to swipe so that'll cover it for this video we'll have another video that covers a few more things thanks for watching